Okay, this is the only CAF based customer which is actually now working perfectly fine. I mean, it's updated. It's almost updated regularly available for only few of the devices, but it's quite worthy, which we are talking about here is AOSPA, which is basically paranoid Android. If you heard about this customer, it's also one of the most famous customers out there, which you can install on a device if your device supports that. And it's only one of the few customers which is CAF based. A lot of customers are based on AOSP. This is CAF based in simple terms. CAF means better performance according to some benchmarks. Not exactly sure about that, but of course I've installed it on my device P11X and after using it from some for some time, even in my previous times, I installed this custom room. The customer performance was actually quite good. If you are looking forward to install this thing on a device, you can. We're going to talk about some of the things which are available in this case. For example, you just notice the default launcher, the quick settings panel. Of course, it's not the pixel launcher, which is paranoid Android launcher gives you some features. Quick settings panel is in light mode and there are some few tweaks here and there, which you definitely will find out quite useful for you if you install this custom room on your device. Let me show you the things, the basic things first things, for example, it is updated as I just mentioned. So as you can see, it's having the September security patch, which means it's updated regularly, at least for my device, which is Mi 11X, Poco F3, Redmi K40, where you can install this thing. And there are many other devices which supports this custom room. We'll give you the link in the description for the official supported devices or basically the website where you can find out if your device supports that and this could be available for your device as unofficial version too if you move on to the wallpapers and style section you will find some options which you definitely need in a custom room are already present here for example the new lock screen shortcuts are already available but including this one we have some system icon back options available as it this custom room does not focus on major customizations but it's a little bit better or basically upgrade from stock android for example i'm using pixel 7a as my primary device and in that in that device i have that stock android which means i do not have the option to choose from system fonts or system icon packs and this should not be considered as a customization focused custom room so only few features here and there that's one of the advantages this custom room also brings you their default wallpaper app, which is abstract. And this is the app, which is officially available in this custom room, where you also have the official wallpapers of Paranoid Android, around 31 wallpapers. Some of these wallpapers are quite good. One of my favorite is this one. We have many other wallpapers available. So you don't need to find out any other wallpapers from anywhere else. I mean, if you have these wallpapers pre-installed, that's one of the great things. You need internet connection to apply these wallpapers by the way and as you can see you can simply save this wallpaper or set this wallpaper on it device basically set this wallpaper and if it is not available to save you can use any third-party app to save that wallpaper on your device this customer brings you all the pixel props all the pixel apps are pre-installed most of the apps and if you have internet connection which you should have then it will simply download some required apps from the google play store but that's completely okay if I move on to the security options, you will notice face unlock, fingerprint unlock, everything is present here except the app lock. App lock is not present. So if you were looking forward to app locker, unfortunately, it's not present. It's not supported in this custom home, but that is or uh, that should not be a major issue for you. Other things are basically same like battery stats where you have the battery usage from the last full charge adaptive battery option which you have in pixel devices other things security privacy same features it is not a customization focused custom room one thing is if i move on to the gesture option this custom room supports some screen of gestures which basically means for example if i have the double tap to double tap gesture available and i use toggle flashlight so let me show you if i simply double tap on my black screen you can see the flashlight toggle is working fine this is so useful and i'm not sure if it is available in most of the devices or most of the custom rooms or not but in paranoid android which is a ospa it's present here and that is what i wanted to let you know other things are basically same so these were things i just wanted to let you know if you like this video don't forget to like and share this if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one i will see you in the next one until then goodbye